Hello to everyone, I am Indurak, and today I am playing more Knights of the Old Republic 2. So, uh, anyway, let's just get to where we're supposed to go. Wait. <laughs> am, I, am I still able to go there? Facility destroyed. Okay, well. Telos Citadel Station. A space station? Wait, what? Artificially maintained. So that's like before the Death Star was ever made. They just made a freaking planet or something? A planet-sized station? Or are you talking about a, a station, a space station outside the planet? Or what? I don't freaking... Or, I don't know. Uh, let's just go there. Maybe I'll... Yeah. yeah, I was <laughs> watching anime. You may have uh, just noticed that I... Yeah. Oh, wait. It's a space station. It's a station that's like... That kind of just is above the friggin' planet, I guess. Okay. I thought it meant like the whole thing was artificial. <laughs> like the whole friggin' planet. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. But I, I don't oh, want to. The if they think we caused the explosion. <coughs> Here comes the welcoming party. Dude, they may just chill. Happened, so don't I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders you look to familiar. take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mine ah, facility. Ah, okay, I guess, uh... Hmm. Are we under arrest? You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Will I be able to get my gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Yes, I, I do. I'll cooperate. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. Well, at least this guy... Like, sounds reasonable. Huh? What? Who be that? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged <coughs> for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. Wait, I had some questions. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. <laughs> okay. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Am I gonna have to, like, carefully choose what I say? Well, I heard the this door the open. Last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Uh... Well, what's going on? The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. Oh, come on, not you again. Not you too, I mean. Two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. Uh -huh. No Mandalorian Real. could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Uh Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. Dude, don't give him ideas, <laughs> please. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. <coughs> You're wanted alive. 
but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. We're in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with this? The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. I don't wish to fight you. Easier for me then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded <laughs> me once and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Oh boy. Hang on. Oh, it is HK-47. Okay. An assassin disguised as Batu Rem, a TSF officer on Citadel Station, made an attempt on your life while you were a prisoner. It might be worth trying to find out who hired him and why. Okay. Evan Hawks, I and D. Lieutenant Gren uh, said the procedure should take no more than 30 standard hours. Oh boy. Oh! Hang on. There we go. Boop. Yes. Wabeshki! The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Ram? <clears throat> uh... He said he was an assassin. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. What's going to happen now? How did he manage to sneak in here? That's something we're going to have to look into. I can tell you that it can't have been easy. What's going to happen now? We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Okay. Well, at least, uh... Well, I mean, this guy seems decent enough, at least. He's willing to protect us. Let's go. Officer, got Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. Be careful who you hire, too. <clears throat> oh, well, I mean, you didn't hire him. He... Of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? <laughs> How long will I be here? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. Okie dokie. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragas? That could bring the SIP. You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. What do you think, Kreia? I don't know how, you, how to say your name. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's how I rest. <clears throat> yes, what's up, dude?
Okay. Excuse me, you have a caller, Moza, representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Um, what does he want? He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Fine, send him in. Very well, I'll let him in now. I haven't been... Oh, I should have saved before I uh, interacted with that thing. I am Moza, and I have come to see you on behalf of Chodo Habat. Okay. What's this about? Are you familiar with the restoration project on Telos? No, could you explain it to me? The surface of Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War a few years ago. This Citadel station is part of the Republic. I hate this. I hate this so much. Generate. Okay, I'm just gonna not read it, because this is ridiculous. No, what troubles have you had? How is Zerka harming the restoration project? Why would Zerka do this? How do they take the restoration zones? <coughs> So, how could I help? Heal me. Oh, so. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. He endured it out, and he behind all of the earth, and pulled us, for if he don't get Okay. I'll speak with your leader when I'm freed. <laughs> Bye bye. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm going to save right now. Yes. Circa Corporation, Citadel Branch. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Circa Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. <sighs> I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jenna Lorso. May I put you through? Ugh. <sighs> what does she want? I am sorry, but I do not know. I only her Administrative Assistant. May I put you through? Fine. 
Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. Yeah, why are you calling? I understand that you approached <coughs> Thorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Uh, impo imposed guilt? Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Uh-huh. What sort of rumors? Oh, I'm sure you've heard. That you're a Jedi, one of the last, wanted by the Exchange, and who knows how many other organizations, for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi, and your standing with them, have no bearing on this discussion. I don't recall him threatening me. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the Exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the Exchange to you if you work with them. No, he didn't mention anything like that. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. <sighs> Go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Oh. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, <sighs> whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help. Though. Profit. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely uh, rewarded. No. You're helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Ah, uh, huh. How are the Athorians in the way of things? Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. What's Just wrong what with that? What does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, so they'll drive the Republic into irreversible <clears throat> debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. <sighs> what sort of work are we talking about? I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. I'll come by when I can. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation. I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Okay. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes. And what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the forces they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I I am present. I'm I'm bad. So it's up to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are True. to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Why is the Republic sending a ship? To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. How long do I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. 
Okay. Is the Eppenhawk still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Eppenhawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. Okay. What about my T3 droid? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, thank you for being a reasonable guy. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebonhawk uh, or some other ship. Dude. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hmm. <laughs> you know that from experience? Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something. You know, it's no big deal. I guess. Why do you need to why do we need to leave? Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Why would Tarag why would Telos be doomed? Because it depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And the bickering senators? <laughs> Not something worth counting on. What do you think, Cre Creya? It is difficult to say. <clears throat> I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Stay or explore Telos. We need a ship. Let's find the Ebon Hawk. Uh. Why don't we ask the Republic for help against the Sith? The Republic? They can't even properly fund and manage a space station, <clears throat> let alone fight an enemy as cunning and ruthless as the Sith. Even if somebody believed us, the Republic won't be any help. Believe me, I know. Only the Jedi threw the Sith back last time around. He may be right, but whatever we do, we should move quickly. Okie dokie. Can't, can't, can't search anything. Okay, there's nothing. have grown strong in the force. I can feel its touch upon you. Do not let the higher mysteries blind you to others. Turning away from that which tempts you or causes you fear is not strength. Facing it is. I have seen you display many acts of mercy, charity in our journey. Why? There's enough suffering in the galaxy. If I can alleviate for one person, then I'm have made a difference. Hmm. Because if I can help, I will. Even if it weakens those you help, even if it robs them of the strength needed to grow, you have been chased hounded since our first meeting and it has only made you stronger more capable I fail to see how small acts of mercy can be harmful ah then you have learnt nothing from such small things from such critical points the universe and its masses may be moved that is why you must be careful in all that you do and in every choice you make Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. <sighs> They're loyal companions, and I will not harm them. So you may think, but it will be best to strike <coughs> first. Your allies are allies by circumstance, and they will not hesitate to do the same to you if you continue down your path. <sighs> Influence lost? Well, screw you! You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. 
lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. I'm fine. In fact, I haven't felt this good in a long time. Or, what do you mean? On Paragus, you seemed, well, a little less at peace with yourself. Now you're different. It's hard to explain. I'm fine. I'm, okay, I'm gonna say that then. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. <laughs> oh, Pasek? I have some questions right. for you. <laughs> what did you want to know? Excuse me. Oh, well, I, I know how to play Pasek. Hang on. I'm gonna save before I play, though. Wait, is there anything else yes. to say? Are you teach me more about the force? Very well. What is it that drives you? Uh, this bond we share, I want to know more about it. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong. And oh, it seems we are already... times of stress and pain. If they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. What about when we fight on our journey? When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Mm-hmm. Very well. I want to build a lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? Uh... To defend you and my allies? Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. For the male, it seems to have an inordinate importance. But we shall leave such male preoccupations for philosophers and cultural historians. Mm -hmm. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. Uh, how do I make one? The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place. Okay, I guess. Very. Teach me any lightsaber forms? The Jedi practice many forms, many <coughs> styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you, as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Very mm, I should know about the Force forms. Very well. Of which did you wish instruction? Ah. Very well. Okay, there was nothing. Had other Ask. questions? Do you know anything about the Sith who pursued? Didn't I already? Nothing this? more than we already know, and anything else I know would be useless. There is danger in such knowledge. Ah. Uh, Hang on. Nothing more. There. Ask. Nothing. Damn it! Lights up, points gained. Something up. Uh. Let's play positive. All right, but I'm out of credits, so it's Republic Senate rules. Oh. Republic Senate rules. That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate, except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. Oh, so just like playing just without waging anything, just... okay. Okay, never mind then. That's kind of why I wanted to play Pazic. But uh, since there's no credits involved, might as well not bother. Oh, hello, peoples. <coughs> Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore order. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. 
Mm. Okay, nothing here. Locked. How dare you? Whatever. Washer's making a lot of noise. Can't go that way. Oh, there's nothing. Okay, I see on the map there's literally nothing behind those. All right. Uh, just to be safe. Hello. The war is really in inflated prices here in the outer rim. Medical supplies are in short supply. Oh, you already demand. I already heard that. Someone else already said that. Apartment complex B. Well, I'll, we're, I'll worry about that later. I want to just take a look around. Complex A. I doubt anybody here is gonna have anything to say. Oh, what the hell? Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore order. Hmm. Hang on. Oh, information terminal. T uh, okay. Hmm. Download area ter area map. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. So, that's just that. Okay. Nothing there. Zerka offices. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going in there. Wait a minute. Okay. Just keep looking around, see if there's anything. The war is really inflated. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Medical supplies. Exchange. Oh. Why are you just staring at a wall? That's weird, dude. We need Republic troops to restore order. I'm not. I don't know where to go, so I'm just gonna save again. Oh wait, I didn't even look at the map. Oh, there's just completely different areas here. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Those are just... Those. Okay. <laughs> Apartment complexes. They're just... Okay. I thought it was going to take me to, like, a completely different area, but no. That's not the case. All right. So, let's just go in here and take a look around. Take a look around. <coughs> oh. Oh, I, I saw a shuttle. Like, it looked like an Imperial shuttle. I guess it's, like, supposed to be an early design. But, still. Ooh! Food to lacquer! Thank you. Is this still gonna be the same thing? I can, like, just go into people's apartments and take their shit? With no consequences? That would be awesome if I, that was, if I can still do that. Hey! What are you doing in my apartment? Just looking around. Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Sorry, I just figured. Figured what? You just break into my apartment and take everything I own? Are you crazy? When you put it that way. Yeah, I thought so. Get out of here before I get the TSF. I'll be going now. You again. Did you not learn your lesson? Saving a separate slot. You again. Okay, well. Oh. Hara. 
Yes, hi. Who are you? Oh, are you? What do you do here? What is this predicament? Tung laldu chung nao, duka ne tunga gorka chino songka teacher notch. Mhm. There was no way I could lose, but you did. Da hupa bosa kurata go juju to yoki, hiata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Of course, you did make her. A a slave. Da hupa, bosa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki, yuki to tune. Da hupa, bosa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki, yuki to tune. I don't know how many credits I have. Perhaps I could be of assistance. Gavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Oh, jeez. 2,000. Uh. Ento mesh mi paju. Watamincha yokol. We like owned by Dotan Hat, who dances in the cantina. He wagered her in a Pazic game and lost. Why would you do that, though? You're so stupid. He's trying to get her back. How many credits do I even have? Oh, I don't, I don't even have enough. Okay, well, I don't know where the cantina is, but I guess uh, we'll have to go find out. B! Hello. Locked. Oh. Really? Damn it. Maybe do this. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of this door. It's gonna take a while, but eh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do it anyway. Whatever. Just keep doing it. It is getting open, so. Hey, how did you miss? It's a big ass door. How how can you freaking miss that? I like how I, how I have different attacks all the time. I did it. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> okay. Well, this is pointless. Oh. I'm not with Zerka. Or the exchange. What does the exchange want with you? Do you sell droid parts? Oh! Sell list. Oh. Okay. Let me just take a look around. Okay, I can't take anything. Hello? Okay, I kind of thought maybe I was supposed to be, be able to help him or something. Oh, right. 
they have my stuff. Uh, I guess I should get my droid back. I don't remember where to go to get them. Hang on. How do I, where can I go to get my droid back? Entertainment module. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. That's that would be this. Just in case anything happens, because I want to try to get as much done as I can in this game. <clears throat> and get all the missions I can done. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Of course you do. Hmm. Oh, there's nothing even up there. Okay. Little shop. How cute. Huh, workbench. And there's two people here. Okay. Hmm. I don't have enough components for anything. All right. Uh. I guess I'll just talk to these people. Come to the right place. Those are the only things I can sell. Oh, right. I, I keep forgetting I have that I don't really have anything else. <laughs> they took all my shit, so. Uh-huh. Why is that? Just in, I don't know. Oh. Let's, let's just get that.
Okay, I got no weapons. Ooh, whoa. Look at me, fancy. I look so cool. Silence, TikTok. I'm busy doing things. It was an accident, I swear. I'm not going to skip because I don't want to accidentally skip there. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. What's going on here? This Sullaston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. <laughs> I like to hear his side of the story. This doesn't have anything to do with you, stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. I won't let you lay a hand on him. Just my luck. Someone who wants to be a hero. Why don't you run along before you get hurt? Can't we talk about this? Believe me, there's nothing to talk about. There was no harm done here. There was no harm done. Here, I'll give you credits. Just leave him alone. You must be kidding me. 100 credits? Why don't you just run along and let us handle this? I don't want to fight you. Then you shouldn't have gotten involved. Oh, they have guns and I have nothing. How about you guys F off? Light side points gained. Hell yeah, thanks. Why am I not doing anything? Come on! Stun anybody. Thank you. I was completely helpless. Those mercenaries are too much. Why are they allowed to do this? Uh, Circa's hired too many mercenaries. Even Circa can't control them. Uh, okay. You should leave in case their friends come looking for them. Hmm? Please accept this reward. Uh, you know what? I'll. Okay. Thank you. What? What? What just happened? Oh, are you serious? Why are we in a cuts? Why do we have to be in a cutscene now, huh? Come on. <coughs> but what? Oh, okay. <sighs> Who might you be? Okay, mouse, can you not be like that? I have felt it too, my lord. A disturbance in the force. It was what? difficult to make it, but at first it was <clears throat> such a quiet thing. I did not notice it, but now I wonder if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly, yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains. 
even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel it as if you you are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord? All life exists to feed your power and my life. My life is yours. I beg you, please. Let me die. <laughs> Yes, this disturbance echoes through the force. I can follow it to its source and bring it to you. I will leave it once, my lord. Okay then, well, that was weird. <clears throat> Why are you just staring at the corner? The war has really inflated prices here. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Medical supplies and insurance. Cantina, wait a minute. I'm saving a new slot just in case. Alrighty. Okay. What's this? Docking module, blah, blah, blah. TSF station. Oh, I think that's where I can get my stuff back from. I'm not, I'm going to ignore the cantina for now until I get my stuff back. Huh? Shuttle? Oh. I, I don't know. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking to these people because this is ridiculous. Hang on. Okay, there's nothing there. Excuse me. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF Station. How may I be of assistance? Lieutenant Gred said to come here to get the Ebon Hawk and the rest of my possessions out of impound. I will call on the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and oh. is currently investigating. Uh, what do you mean, gone? Stolen? How is that even possible? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. What? However, both what the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I probably knew it. that stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably Why? riding through the system right now. Why would it do at that? Us, laughing at me. That doesn't that make sense. Okay. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait. You're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos surface? D didn't he just understand. say that? Telos atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Is there anything in the system about our ship. There was a query regarding the Ebon Hawk's ID signatures and from the Paradis mining facility. Oh right, there was that lady that went to the ship. To the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Can I get my possessions back at least? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. 
I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. Thank you. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, <coughs> there is a fair chance that the exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest. Well, Beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. Well, honestly, you are providing me with some decent information here. Tell me about the exchange. The exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is a front for the exchange. On Citadel Station. Hmm. Isn't there anything that TSF can do? Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. Hmm. I'll be going now. <sighs> well, that sucks. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all okay. the problems on Citadel Let's just get our shit. Right we need Republic assistance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Alrighty then. Hang on. <coughs> now I'll keep what I currently have on. Alright, uh... Then I will... Um... That's what I had before. I'll just take that back. Wait a minute. Computer use. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Mm. I'll take that. Plasma torch, why is that there? Okay. I didn't know I could... I thought I only had one of those. Nah, I'll keep that the only configurate. What? Oh, whoops. Wait a minute, what? Okay, I guess that that'll do it. Oh, wait, ah, crap. I forgot, I have other characters. Um, 
Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay, I guess I'll give that to you. How many of those do I have? Oh, well, I guess maybe not enough. All right. Um, what to give you? Demolitions, fortitude. Oh. Um. I, I, I'll give it that, I guess. Let's give you the friggin' Okay, well, just take Forgetting that I can just do that. And then give you that. Give you that. <clears throat> I guess I'll just give you this. Why not? Why can't I do this? Oh, right. She's missing a hand. <laughs> okay. Well. well. I'll just keep that. Well, that sucks. Seven Hawks stolen. How dare you. Okay. Oh. Might be a good idea to save. Uh, save in a separate slot just in case. Hi. Something I can help you with? How will you recover from the destruction of the Paragas mining facility? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. Oh, how bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit. And for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Can't the Republic increase funding for the station? If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragas for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Is there anything that can be done? Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. Hmm. If I can help, I'd like to. You? You've got enough trouble, I think. 
And this is all your fault anyway. Still think I'm to blame? Look, it doesn't matter what I think. But sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel in their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Uh-huh. Something I can... Do I have any work I could do? Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? Ah! Tell me about the bounties. This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Right, right. Batono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Why do you need my help? It sounds like something that you as I've should invest. Or do you have any leads? Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating docking bay three. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the docking bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. I'll see what I can dig up. Thank you. Keep me updated. What is it? Tell me about the criminals. They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly <clears throat> moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. Some sort of electrical malfunction, a side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack, enabled them to escape. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. Hmm. What do you know about the criminals? Wait, didn't you like say that? There are two of them, a Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. I'll see what I can dig up. All right, just be careful. We've already lost two good officers to them. What is it? You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Is there any way to find out about the killer's movements on the station? Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. See if what you I can find do, anything yeah. about the real Batu Rem, we'd like to know if he's safe. Oh, okay. What I don't think there's any... Yeah, that's something it. I can... Hang on. He's looking right at me, but... Uh, attempt to slice his username and password. Passengers on the Ebon Hawk are currently being held on station, awaiting the arrival of the. Uh... Okay. You don't have a problem that I just freaking logged into your freaking computer? Oh, this is where I was. This is where we were being held, and where we killed a guy. Or probably, I don't know if we killed him. We didn't even have any weapons. We may have just knocked him out. I don't know. And then. <laughs> Well, before I do anything, I'm out of time, so I'm going to stop my video here. So, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.